All right, guys, welcome back. Row the Great and BQ here talking Impact Wrestling's Victory Road coming up this week. Yesterday, we talked OVE and LAX, and the day before that, we talked Trevor Lee versus PD Williams. Today, we will be talking Sienna, Taya, and Taryn versus Gail, Allie, and Rosemary. This is the six woman knockout match. As of stated, the first couple days, if you guys are new to the fight app, in the description of this, you can click the fight app, get a $20 code, which uh, maybe you can use that towards Bound for Glory down the line. I don't know. But uh, go ahead and uh, click the link and uh, support us through the fight app. So we've got the six women knockout match. We talked about this, and the build has been pretty entertaining. And these are, you know, six of the uh, the top six knockouts in the, in the company. Obviously, you could probably uh, throw Laurel Van Ness in there, but these are the top six knockouts. This is a match here. I don't know where they're going with it as far as uh, I, right now, as I'm speaking to you, I don't know who's going to win this one. I'll have to make a determination here in a bit. But this has the potential to be really good and and be kind of the knockouts match of the year so far because we haven't, and it's hard to say that with a, a, a tag team match, especially with six women, but we haven't really had that strong knockouts match this year except maybe um, you know what Jade and Rosemary were doing. So, what are you thinking about this one? Do you think that uh, do you think we're gonna get time on this one? Yeah, I, I think uh, all the women involved are gonna get an opportunity to uh, showcase um, what they can do. I think we're gonna see some of the um, the side views. Like I'm sure we're gonna have a segment of uh, Taryn and Gail Kim mixing it up, and then we're gonna have, um, I guess, Sienna. Ali and uh, Taya Rosemary as well. So, um, yeah, I think they'll get enough time. Yeah, I have to believe that they will. If this were just a regular, and this is still an episode of Impact. Um, it's not bullshit anybody, but um, if this were just a regular episode of Impact, I could see this where every girl kind of gets in the ring once. Maybe one of them doesn't tag in at all. And then it becomes some silly brawl and a DQ or, or cheap finish or whatever. But I have to believe with the uh, with this being Victory Road and they're kind of promoting this as a bigger television event. I have to believe that this this match is going to get some time. You know, I kept talk. I was I've been saying you know they've been doing about six matches a show with a couple squashes. Like I could see them actually only doing these four matches. And since they're you know seem to be focusing a little bit more on wrestling than the promos and all that i have to believe this is going to get some time as well and um you know sienna it's good to see her out there without km because i i feel like km kind of holds her back sometimes because because he has that comedy aspect to him i think that kind of hurts uh the on-screen char on-screen character sienna is supposed to come out like a real badass do you think that there's going to be any tension between sienna taya and taryn um, I could see more so of uh, Taya and uh, Sienna just for the simple fact of uh, Taya's let it known that, you know, she has aspirations of challenging for the Knockouts Championship. And we all know Sienna's mindset is, you know, that belt ain't going anywhere, you know. So I think maybe there. But um, outside of that, I, I really see what, in Taryn's case, I think her thing is going to be more just Gail Kim, her Gail Kim, because I think that's going to be something, maybe a match we might see at Bound for Glory. We haven't seen a whole lot of Taya as far as um, she just had two squash matches, hasn't been challenged at all. So it'd be interesting to see um, what she can do in this match in this setting. And then Taryn, uh, she's only wrestled once, right, in the tag team match. Like she hasn't had a squash match or anything. She's just wrestled in that tag team match. And all she was yeah, doing, much. yeah, with the exception of like a rolling net breaker she did, she pretty much has just like run in, get some moves, and it, she just kept tagging Sienna back in. So we don't know what kind of uh, ring shape Taryn is really in. We saw Brooke, you know, at the top of the year, and, and um, she wasn't in ring condition. Um, not to say she was out of shape because she, she's definitely not, but uh, she was her. She was very uh, rusty, a lot of ring rust. So we got to see what, what Taryn's got. Um as I've stated to a lot of people before, Allie, even though Allie's kind of silly, you know, she is she is past that I can't wrestle role. Um, I don't know why people are still painting her with that brush, but she is obviously wrestling if you've seen her the last two or three times in the ring. 
One thing I want to see from this, uh, I hope Rosemary can it, it can kind of come away looking strong here. Don't do you feel like she's almost becoming an afterthought a little bit? I know she was off TV for a while, but as I've stated, she you know keeps getting jumped in the rings, not looking super strong. And Gail Kim is featured here. Gail Kim may come out the superhero, um, kind of like when straight out of Compton. You know, I mean, there was everybody, and then there was Dr. Dre, the superhero. And <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> I don't want a Gail to look like this at Rosemary's expense, but um, I mean, do you feel like Rosemary's becoming an afterthought a little bit? You know what? I was thinking um, even uh, the previous uh, episode of Impact because you know it, I'm I guess it's safe to say uh, Rosemary's face. And I've always been of the mindset keep her neutral. You know what I mean? Like no one's saying she has to be this overly aggressive heel, but don't make her this bubbly baby face. Keep her you know neutral. Um, but I think we're seeing another layer of the Rosemary character and stuff like that. And it's fine for now. Um, I think eventually, after all this, she'll be back in the title picture and she'll be one of the top contenders and stuff. So I think moving forward, she'll be fine. But, you know, credit to her, man. I mean, I think, you know, her, you know, Rosemary, the performer, man, you know, she's just displaying her brilliance. You know, she, whether, you know, she was coming from, you know, the real demonic character to, you know, what she is now, the layers of her character and the evolution is it's really impressive. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really wondering what they're going to do with the knockouts title at the pay-per-view because we talked about, you know, this this probably is a good a time as any to do some kind of multi-woman match or gauntlet or, um, you know, ladder match or something. that It would make sense in this case. But I also have to believe they're trying to push Gail towards the title, but Gail's already had a title shot and she lost. Rosemary still needs a rematch. There's no reason that Gail should be feuding with Sienna over um, Taryn. As far as like her, her eyes should be on Taryn and Gail also shouldn't have that slot ahead of Rosemary because Rosemary has more beef with Sienna than Gail. And, um, you know, Allie's just kind of thrown into all this, um, mixing it, you know, she had an issue with Taryn, but she doesn't really have any drama with anyone, but she's, she's uh, aligned herself with Gail, Miss Gail and, uh, her demon friend. So this is the, this is, this is the one that's a little hard to predict, um, out of all the matches. So you got Sienna, Taya, and Taryn on one side, Gail, Allie, and Rosemary on the other side. Who do you think wins this match? Uh, personally, man, I think this is going to end in a no contest. Okay. No contest. Um, I'm not going to, I'm going to be a little more bold. I'm not going to go with the no contest. I think, um, I think Sienna, Taya, and Taryn win the match. And um, I'm going to say that Sienna gets the win over Allie. Um, so yeah, so we'll see. Uh, so we got different, different, different opinions on this one. Le let us know in the comments who you think is going to win or what you think is going to happen. Um, and for Row the Graces BQ, thanks for uh, listening. We'll be talking tomorrow about. Eli Drake versus Johnny Impact. Hit the subscribe button here on YouTube. Thanks. Peace.